All right, so in this video, I'm going to demo the end product of the running Cypress tests in parallel blog posts. So we'll be looking at four scenarios. In the first scenario, all tests are successful. In the second scenario, we'll see what happens when there's a single failure. In the third scenario, we'll skip a test. And in the fourth scenario, we'll look at what happens when we run more than five test specs. And this final scenario is significant as you only have access to four machines on the Circle CI free tier. Okay, so diving right in, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, first scenario where all tests are successful. So I'll go ahead and push my code. And so this will trigger a new run on Circle CI. And so now you can see the four jobs here running in parallel. And once those four jobs are running, you can see the combined reports job running. And so that is successful. So if we open that up, go to artifacts, we can see the generated Mocha report here. Okay, so now let's look at the second scenario where we have a single failure. Pull open the code here. Simple change. And then push that up. So heading back to circle here. So a new build is running. And again, after that build job passes, you can see the test specs running here. So the combined reports job just finished. You can see that it did fail as expected. If we open this up here. We can see that the second spec did fail. Okay, so next let's take a look and see what happens when we skip a test. So instead of fixing this, let's just skip it. Okay, so that is done. The build is successful. And if we take a look at the Mocha report, you can see that we are skipping this uh, second test there. And finally, the last scenario that we'll look at is if we use more than five test specs. So going back to the code, let's go ahead and fix that. And then I'll duplicate the last spec here. And I actually need to run the generate circle config script again, and you'll find out what this does in the blog post. You can see the build here. And so now you can see that four jobs are running, four test jobs, so test one, so test two, test four, and test five, and test three is queued. So test four finished, and so now test three dequeued, and now it's running. So since all the test jobs are done, the combined reports job is now running. And so now let's take a look at the report. Now five jobs ran, and you can see that they were all successful. Okay, that's all I have. Make sure you check out the blog post on testdriven.io. Thanks.